Hi, and welcome to the Concentric Circle Chart Customization Tutorial. Uh, to get started, let's go to our Project Panel, go to the All Graphs folder, and let's open the Concentric Circle Chart folder, and double-click the Concentric Circle Chart Render. So let's open this up. Just to give you a quick overview, this is um, our Concentric Circle text layers. These are animated they are masked and then they are rotated so they look like they kind of fold into each other. Just want to show you that really quick. And then we have um, some wipes that are transitioning out, uh, animating the background pattern and the background color. So let's double click to open the concentric circle text. And this is where our chart um, is animated. We have a camera and we have a, a little color palette uh, composition here. This is a guide layer, so it's not visible in any other comps. It's just there to give you um, some guidance if you had a set color palette and you wanted to keep using those same colors. This will make an easy way to use a color picker and pick those uh, colors and make them consistent throughout the project. So to change any of the text layers, just double click on them and you'll see that our text is highlighted in our comp viewer. And what you want to do is start typing. There we go. And you can do the same for the, um, the other text layer. To change the fonts or the colors or the sizes, you're gonna, you are gonna use the color, uh, sorry, the character panel. Uh, for these text layers, the all caps option is on. If you deselect that, your text will revert to the original formatting. So um, we're just gonna keep it with all caps. And now let's enter our data you can double click on the enter concentric circle data here composition to open that up. And we can start at the top with our, our color controls and we have colors for our symbol and text. And just change that with one click. There we go, we can see that a little bit better. You can change the circle color for each circle. And it'll also change our, uh, our text and this little rectangle that holds our numbers and our symbols. And if we go to our text controls and turn on off circles, you can um, have as little as two circles, two data sets, or you can turn on all, all five of them. We have our number size. We can increase this if we like or decrease it, make it smaller. And we also have a suffix and a prefix for our numbers. So if you wanted to um, you switch those on and off here. And if you do that, you'll probably want to move our numbers over and make a few adjustments. To enter your data, we can go to the enter data here layer Go to our effects controls panel and uh, you can start with the circle thickness. You can actually increase this um, or decrease it. But also note that it does decrease the size of our rectangle as well. So just showing you that option. You can set a maximum value. Right now our maximum value is set to 500. If you were to change this to maybe like a thousand, our chart dynamically responds. So now we can go to our circle data and these are animated with a mat. So you won't be changing any keyframes in this one. You can just use a slider. To change your data, you can just drag those or enter a number if you have a specific number. And to change any of the text, again, just uh, select the text layer and double click it and type your text. 